And now, Frog Eyes Radio presents Artist Showcase. We'll sit down with a featured artist and find out how they got their start, who influenced them musically, and go with them inside the studio as they tell us where their inspiration comes from when it comes to songwriting. Stay with us as we go behind the music on Frog Eyes Radio presents Artist Showcase. Today's episode is sponsored by First Communications. FirstCom is a leading technology solutions provider offering unparalleled cloud communications, data, voice, security, and managed services to over 35,000 businesses across the United States. From high-end cloud communications to software-defined networking and security, FirstCom offers everything a business needs to stay connected. Visit them at firstcom.com. Hello again and welcome. I'm Gary Moulet, and on today's show, we're featuring a country music artist from North Carolina who comes to us by way of Nashville, Tennessee. His name? Trey Calloway. And here he is performing his song, When You Walk In. Country music star Trey Calloway with When You Walk In. 
Trey, thanks for joining us. Now, we all want to know more about you, and I have a lot of questions to ask, so let's get started. Tell me, how did you get your start in music? What got me into music was my father was a preacher when I was growing up, so I grew up singing in church, singing gospel music in church. Mm -hmm. Um, I would sing and play before all of his sermons, and then uh, that pretty much gave me the music bug. And then started listening to country music around the age of about 13, and it was all over but the crying after that. <laughs> and uh, I've been a honky-tonk man ever since. I'll tell you, I really enjoy your sound, and I hear some familiar styles in there. So tell me, who are some of your musical influences? People always ask me about my musical influences. Uh, early on in my career, I well, early on as a child, I, I played gospel music. And uh, so I listened to the Newsboys and Mark Schultz and uh, FFH and a lot of a lot of gospel acts. And then when I started listening to country music, my father and mother bought me a greatest hits country album with all the country gold, all the George Jones and Merle Haggard oh, yeah. and Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I really uh, got off the on the right foot with uh, the early stuff. The old stuff is what I listened to when I was a kid. And then I got into a lot of the 90s country acts like Garth Brooks. Yeah. Garth Brooks is uh, one of the biggest influences in my career. Uh, George Strait, of course, King George. Uh, Clint Black, huge fan. My mom was a huge fan of Clint Black and um, Alan Jackson as well. Uh, Georgia Boy. Those are probably four of my favorite country artists yeah. of all time. And, and then when I got into to playing in bars, when I first started playing in bars, I loved Jason Aldean and I loved Chris Young. And uh, now I, I really dig Luke Combs because he's a North Carolina boy like myself. Uh, Eric Church, of course, fellow North Carolina boy. Yeah. John Party, all those guys. Cody Johnson, a uh, big fan of Cody Johnson, especially mm -hmm. especially uh, what he's doing nowadays. I really love the Leather album. Yeah, so that's a good album. Uh, those are those are some of my musical influences, yeah. and uh, I think it's helped shape me as an artist and uh, mm -hmm. and. Uh, well, it's yeah. a it's a good group. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna follow an artist to to try and and build your own style, that's a good group of names to do it with. I'll tell you. Um, now, I have two questions that I like to ask all our guests, and uh, so here it is: What is your songwriting process, and where do you draw your inspiration from? A little bit about my songwriting process is uh, I usually be in conversation. That's usually where it happens. I don't. I'll I'll be talking to an old friend or or somebody I just met and and uh, either they or I'll will say something that sounds funny or catchy uh, in a, in the middle of a sentence and it'll strike me in a weird way and I'll I'll write it down real fast. I usually uh, sometimes I do it in the middle of a show. <laughs> somebody will say something funny in the middle of a show and I'll pull out my phone right in the middle of being on stage and write it down and I um, then 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 usually I'll I'll co-write this song with with some buddies of mine. Uh, co-writing is when you write with with more than one person besides yourself. So maybe a two-man ride or a three-man ride, sometimes even four people. And um, and then going into the recording studio is, a, is is the time when you kind of polish the song and make it really what it ends up becoming with all the instruments. And uh, I enjoy seeing the, the musicians playing on my records. They get to show off. That's something I'm really proud of about a lot of my records is that I let the musicians explore and be creative and put their own touch on it and their own taste into it. So that's my songwriting process in a nutshell. And um, I love songwriting and I love getting better at it. It's something that you don't start off good at. You have to practice that every day. That's right. So if you want to be a songwriter, uh, you got to do it all the time. Yeah, that's Never right. stop. You, very, very good advice for all you startups out there. Practice, practice. Practice to be good. Now, let's play another Trey Calloway song. Here's one of my favorite, and I hope it's one of yours. It's called Back to the Country. Ooh. Oh, 
country. Take me back to the country. Take me back, take me back, take me back. Yeah. I miss those quiet nights. Sitting around that bonfire watching them members fly. Uncovered trucks. Can't fish on the line. Cuddle up with you, girl. On all that Carolina sky. Why I left home, I'll never know why. Take me back to the country where the grass is greener and the tea is sweeter on the map. Down a two lane, stones shine bright. I got a creek in choir singing like it's church on Sunday. No. Yeah, take me back to the country. Take me back, take me back, take me back, yeah. Take me back, take me back, take me back to the country. Well, now take me back. Oh, take me back to the country where the grass is greener and the tea is sweeter on the map. Down a two lane, stone shine bright. I got a creek in choir singing like it's church on Sunday. Take me back, take me back, take me back to the country. Take me back to the country. Take me back, take me back, take me back. Take me back, take me back, take me back to the country. Well, now take me back. I'll take me back. So, what new exciting things are you working on now that we can look forward to? What's next for Trey Calloway? We've got a super exciting year, 2024, coming up. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. We're going to be doing some some touring um, down in Texas, as well as possibly Pennsylvania and Ohio and North Carolina and South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're trying to spread out out of Nashville and, and cover a lot of ground and mm-hmm. go out there and meet some new fans and make some new fans and uh, play some great shows. We've also got some recording we're going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be releasing a single just about every six weeks for the next year. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, really excited about the recording. Always love getting back into the studio. And uh, we'll continue to be playing in Nashville, Tennessee every week and and loving the new fans that come out there to meet us out there. So going to be a great 2024, and I can't wait. We'll see you out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep on top of your schedule. I want to try and catch a show while you're out there. Now, what do you hope people take away from your music? The thing that I hope people take away from my music the most is uh, – I have some songs out there that that are inspiring that I try to inspire people. I have some love songs out there. You know, I want to be the soundtrack to to somebody's life. I think if I can affect one person's life and change somebody's life for the better, I think that'd be That's neat. a career well spent. Yeah. Um I really try to make music from the heart. Um but I also try to make fun music, you know, the rock and songs that we put out. Right. Right. Uh they're not too serious. You know, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We just try to make fun honky-tonk songs, and, and I'm somewhere between modern country and, and traditional country. Yeah. I want to capture that sound. Undeniably country, but yet modern is what we're going for. Right. And I think it's a never-ending process of discovering that sound. Yeah, so I think you got that. I hope that I can I can affect one person's life out there. If I do that, then that will be a job well done in my book. Nice. Now, how can our listeners stay up to date on what's going on? You can find me on every social media platform at Trey Calloway Music. Uh, my Spotify is just Trey Calloway. You can also find us at bandsintown.com. Um, my website is www.treycallowaymusic.com. We like to post our shows weekly, uh, and then usually at the beginning of the month, we'll we'll make a whole month post, so you'll be able to see where we're going to be playing. And you can uh, plan to come out and, and meet us if you haven't met us, or come out and see us again for all the people that have come to see our show before. We can't wait to see and meet all of you. And uh, we'll see you out there. And we also have a link for you on our Artist on the Air webpage at frogeyesradio.com. Now, Trey, we're going to end this show on uh, your latest release. 
But uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we were playing, me and my band were playing down at AJ's Good Time Bar in Nashville, Tennessee, one Saturday night, and uh, this lady came walking in. Uh, you know how the bridesmaids wear their sashes that say bride-to-be yeah. or whatever that may be. Yeah. This one particular lady had a sash on that said, Miss Gone by Morning. <laughs> and I read it, and I immediately laughed out loud on the microphone, and I, I said, that's the title of a of a country song if I've ever heard one. Yeah, it is. And um, I asked her if it was okay if I wrote a song about her, and of course she agreed that she loved that idea. And uh, two of my really good friends and myself, uh, Greg Wilson and Hal O'Dell, wrote the song. Mm -hmm. And uh, it turned out great, and then I ended up going to record it. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite songs I've ever done. I hope you guys like it. That's really cool. What do you hope people take away from it? The thing that I hope people take away from Miss Gone by Morning, uh, it's just it's a fun little song. It's a female empowerment song. It's a song where the woman is has the power for once, and she is the heartbreaker. You know, most songs yeah. are about the cowboy riding away, but we wanted to write a song in which the cowgirl rode away, and I think we accomplished that, Greg and Hal and myself, when we wrote it. Um, you know, it's just a song that I hope women hear, and I hope they smile and say, that's me, that that's who I want to be, a, a strong, independent woman. So um, it's also a rocking number. We, we wanted to make people dance, and I think we accomplished that. So I hope you guys enjoy Miss Gone by Morning. And I'm sure they will. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the new song by Trey Calloway, Miss Gone by Morning. <laughs> That this sweet little honey Mind full of wishes A pocket full of money Thinking white picket fence Oh, nine yards Before you get yourself Down the road that far Let me tell you where you are And you're working on your next broken heart She's miss, she's miss, she's miss Gone by morning yeah, She's a hurricane Come and gone Before you hear that warning Brother, forget about the river back You might be sad for a while But you're gonna wake up with a big old smile Cause she's missed, she's missed, she's missed Gone by morning yeah, She's a hurricane coming gone Before you hear that warning Brother, forget about the river bound But ain't no man gonna hold her Ladies and gentlemen, the new hit by Trey Calloway, Miss Gone by Morning. My prediction, it's going straight to the top. Well, that's our show. We'd like to thank you, Trey, for spending some time with us today, as well as our show sponsor, First Com. 
everything your business needs to stay connected. Connect with them at firstcom.com. We also like to thank our listeners for tuning in. And as always, you can hear more music by Trey Calloway and many other great independent artists from around the world right here on Frog Eyes Radio. Frog Ice Radio Presents Artist Showcase is produced and distributed by Malay Productions, LLC, and is recorded right here in Perry, Georgia. I'm Gary Malay, and I hope you'll join us next time on Frog Eyes Radio Presents Artist Showcase. Don't miss it.